I'm Natalie. I'm Chantel. And I'm Chris. We're trying to find Chantel and Matt. Is this the actual? Or... I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. <Jeez>. Barnacles, barnacles. <laughs> I feel like you can tell a lot about a guy just based on his credit card statement. I agree. Yeah. It's financial responsibility. We could be a little bit flexible on that though. You know, okay. cause like we're in New York City, we're young. So like, financial responsibility yeah. and balling out on passionate things. Exactly, That's exactly. What we are we good? Like a little bit, yeah. Yeah, you see, right, okay. just, you know, <laughs> just sit on our lap. These are just like sit on my lap. friends right there. Yeah, just, you know what? We're just gonna like do this. So one, are you paying the bills, bro? But are you also turning up? Because life is all about balance. Natalie and I are gonna help Chantel figure out who she wants to go on a date with based on two guys' credit card statements. Do you think a credit card statement is a good way to screen someone for dating? It might be a good way to screen someone out for dating. Yeah. I don't know if it's a great way to screen someone in. So you can look for red flags, but once you filter out the red flags, it's really anyone's game, right? Yeah. What do you think your credit card statement says about you? It says I'm a wholesome person who likes alcohol. What are you expecting to see today? Probably get judged very hard. You could think really whatever you want. It could, it could be like Uber, you know, it could be gas for driving, it could be, it could be anything. So there was a Supreme in there, you know, so that they might see if you know what it is, like, oh, okay, he got some swag. Cause that's kind of one of those, like, if you know, you know, kind of thing. You're for the culture. 100% for the culture. So we do it for, if you got a credit card, you know, you, you're somewhat focused, at least you're trying to look like you're trying to build your credits. Or you like taking on too much debt. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> All right, so this is dude number one. This is his yeah. credit card statement from March 15th to April 13th. Wait, first of all, if you look at his total statement, okay. his balance was $5,000. So he spent okay. about $5,000 in a month. Well, that probably means he has a really high credit limit. So I respect that, dude. He has good credit, you know? Or he's way past his limit. Yeah. Oh, we need to see the credit right, score too to get like the full okay. visibility. He went to a place called Nudes with like five O's. You know, yeah. he, he a little quirky. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A little quirky. A little quirky. Not terrible. He also went to a place called Sauced and he spent $40 there. Do you think for $40 he got sauce that sauced? Yeah. No doubt. Yeah. No doubt. Without a question. So he spends a lot of time in Brooklyn and I like that, dude, because Brooklyn people are so dope. Like, it's a bit of a blanket statement, but yeah. Right. He spends a lot of time probably because I live there. So. Whole Foods. How much did he spend at Whole Foods? $40? I like a man that goes to Whole Foods. The Whole Foods is the Whole way Foods to get him, bro. Whole Foods, Whole Foods, is, Foods is the way to get him, bro. <laughs> the closest grocery store is key. Oh, wait, hold up. He went to Fig 19. What is oh, guys, if you don't know what Fig 19 is, like, you suck. The finest establishment yeah. in New York City. It was like that they know that. Yeah. It's like a speakeasy it designed specifically for people our age who are into 90s bangers. Yeah, so okay. he's pretty outgoing so far. Okay, he's he went to Sushi by M and, and put his car down. I love wow. that. He put wow. his car down for omakase. I lost a bet to my roommate, so I had to buy a sushi. <laughs> they don't know that. They don't know that. You put your car down in their eyes. Put my car down. They don't have to know that. The Sushi by M transaction is $334. I'm a Sushi by M fan. Shout out to Sushi by M. I love you guys. He goes to sauce the lot. What is sauce? Uh, Dude, I would like to know as well. What is Sauce. I've Are been you? sauced, but I don't know if I've been too sauced. Yeah. It's a wine bar. Definitely getting sauced at Definitely sauce, getting sauced bro. at sauce. That's the running joke. Is this like the M, like the subway? Yeah, he's doing the, the tap on the metro. So he takes the subway. He loves taking the subway. That means he's financially responsible because he's not Ubering everywhere. Like if I was sauced at sauced, would you call us an Uber? Or would you make me take the subway for 40 oh, minutes to okay. Brooklyn? Because it seems like you live in Brooklyn. You have a peacock subscription. No one has a peacock subscription. Mm. Why they come in that peacock? Damn, they're roasting. They're roasting, bro. They're roasting, bro. Yeah, they play, they play soccer games on there. It's a sports app. Doesn't care to do what everyone else is doing. He's doing Dude, his own thing. He's a little off the beaten path. I like that. Do you think he's a hipster? Would you consider yourself a hipster? I feel like that term has been put through the, the washing machine. I don't know. I don't think that's even the right phrase. Yeah. I don't know, I guess. Reluctant, reluctantly. Reluctantly. Yeah. Does the number of transactions here say anything about him? Big baller. Big baller. But I didn't see anything that was ridiculously expensive though. A casual baller. Right, exactly. I take the subway. That's what I'm saying. Oh, he got the Amex. The Casually Amex balls. Platinum. 
I see you. He likes the finer things in life, but also like the chiller things in life. Oh shit, yeah. he, he subscribes to the New York Times. Oh. oh. Educated. Okay. Oh, interesting. Smart? He said okay. current events. Oh wait, he had TurboTax. He did taxes. taxes. He did it on like March that. 26th. He's way ahead of schedule, right? That's, That's crazy. impressive. You do your taxes yet? Oh yeah, Ben. Yeah, yeah, ben. for sure, for sure. Yeah, well I was yeah. on it. Couple guys like, who do I'm... our taxes. Yeah. yeah, actually, dude, this is not financially irresponsible enough for me. They're saying that you're not oh. balling out. Why are you not balling out? Yeah. I need like more crazy purchases. There's no, there's no bust down on like, here. Like why? Yeah, no bust downs. No. Like, there's no Maru. There's no Dan. No Maru. <laughs> no like thousand dollar bottle at the club. I appreciate this, but like, where is the financial irresponsibility? But so far, who is this guy? How are you feeling about him? Do you want to go on a date with him? I like Brooklyn boy. I would say his brand is like True. understated opulence. Like he's like low key. But he's like kind of a baller, oh, is my take like on it. Like a modest okay. baller. Like a, a, modest, a modest baller. I he's like the type that. to buy yeah. like designer items with like no that. logos yeah. on them. Yeah. Low key baller. Yeah. Low key baller. Dude, you're low, you're good... low key, but you're a baller. I like low key ball. You don't want to be high key about anything, you know? I, I agree. Like, I agree. All right. All right. So, All right, Broken Boy. Overall, you're feeling this guy? Yeah. All right. Do you want to move on to the next one? Yes. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, nah, I'm I told you. It was, I was in a little situation, so I, I couldn't use my cars a lot. But okay. This okay. is interesting. What is Union 76? Oh, so he drives. He drives. <laughs> A gasoline. Lot. Oh, it's gas. But it's like it's like prepaid though, cause like it's like twenty five dollars each time. Oh, it's very Supreme different. New York. How much did you spend at Supreme, bro? Okay, he bought a shirt at Supreme. I respect that. Was it a shirt? A shirt and a hat, I think. Sure. Oh, the merchant category for all these transactions, except for that Supreme shirt, is gasoline. Yeah. So he probably doesn't live in New York, maybe. Oh, he lives in Jersey. There could be reasons why someone only uses their credit card for gasoline rather than spending. Oh, he could be one of those people who like has a different credit card for each like uh, type oh, of purchase. Okay. So, yeah. so, so maybe, maybe this, this is his gas credit card. Oh, oh. now they're cooking. Oh. Thank you. How different okay. do you feel this guy is from the previous guy? First guy's an open book. This guy. This guy's more secretive, man. It's like, it's like, like a, more mysterious. Yeah. More mysterious, wow. I told, look, I'm on the run. You know, that's all they know is I'm active. Gas and Supreme. What an interesting combo. Like, like I want to know like more. Okay, you're you're obviously from Jersey. Does Jersey get Jersey. it poppin'? This guy drives a lot, so he has a car. I love car drives. And you know what someone does when they drive a lot? Listen to music. They listen to music. He's got. So he probably has good music taste, and he like wears Supreme. So like he's probably like you know for the culture. Okay. You're for the culture. Hundred percent for the culture. Also, you're spending specifically $25 on gas. Is that a little? Is that a lot? That Yo, doesn't even fill up know. a tank. Why but if you have a Prius, bro, that's like almost a full tank. Oh, so you care about the environment? <clears throat> okay. Oh, I was Prius guy? Oh. <laughs> he filled up gas twice in the same day. Interesting. What? Where are you going? He right. lives in the moment. Like you're just... I think on the spot, on the go. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's, I don't need to plan ahead. You need $10 here, $10 here. Mm -hmm. He's like Whoa. not loyal to any gas station. Yeah. He's not loyal. Oh, because I go to different gas stations. Oh. See, the only thing you got to be loyal to is your girl and your barber. That's it. <laughs> He's the kind of guy who has like, his wallet's full of specialized credit cards. Like he has like 12 credit cards. She's on the, She's on like the credit card hypothesis. When you're playing the game, dude, you got to play to win. I'm just not working with much here. I like that he be driving, man. I just like want to know more about you. So the other guy, the Amex Avenger. Amex Alpha. The Amex Alpha. He's all over the map, man. Like, that's great because I'm all over the map. Natalie, who should I pick? Ooh, tough decision. What? For the purposes of entertainment, I'm going to say guy number two. He could be like a loose cannon, and we like that. Do you think my type is loose cannons? Oh, yeah, the cannon's never tightened. I hate tight cannons. If your cannon is tight, <laughs> I don't, Bro, don't if you want aim it. At somewhere, it doesn't go over there, you know? Like, we don't want it. Yeah, if you're just shooting in one direction, I don't like yeah. that. You have to be all over the place, bro. I want like, bang, bang, bang. Chantel, two very surprisingly different guys. Who do you want to go on a date with? This was a very hard decision. We're gonna go out with uh, Amex Alpha, you know, kind of kind of go the safe route. So yeah, you pick Brian as your date. Hit me with this, Yo. hit me with this. It was a hard choice, man. No, you, you didn't give me much to work with. Transparency, hey, put some text here. Transparency is, is sexy. sexy. Period. I can't confirm that he is about the culture, so. And he's got good music taste. Was dope. the breakdown correct? Were we like pretty accurate? <laughs> Maybe he likes driving, the, the culture. The, music the, the, taste? The, yes, the music. Yeah, yeah. okay. All right, so we're actually gonna cut for a bit and I'll let you two go off on your own mini date and then we'll come back in and check in and see what you wanna do after that. Sound good?
Brian, you didn't get to see Chantel before this. Do you feel like credit card statements are now like a effective way to gauge compatibility? I still feel the same. I feel like it's a good way to screen people out, but I feel like it's not a great way to screen people in. Although I will say that their psychoanalysis is probably above average. Above, above average. average psychoanalytical above ability average. Okay. of the credit card statement. What would you like, what is that out of 10? Maybe like an eight. Maybe like an eight, like an eight to weave the narrative, to weave the narrative together, okay. you know? Chantel, are you, are you satisfied with your outcome today? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Stay safe. Yeah, how do you end videos so awkward? <laughs>